Hey everyone, today we are making the granite fingerless mitts. I've got the pattern in the description. This is one of my now forever free patterns. If you don't know what that means, when you click on the link, you'll find out. I've also got some, um, what do I have? I have the material list <laughs> below. We're using super bulky yarn that works up super fast and it's a really simple pattern. You will be amazed at how quickly you can make these. So download the pattern and we can get started. But first, real quick, along with forever free patterns that I'm giving away in 2023, I also want to give you guys money. Well, not only money, gift cards. So I have about 95% of you that don't actually subscribe when you watch these. All you need to do is subscribe now. And if I hit 200,000 by the end of the year, I'm going to give one lucky subscriber a $500 gift card to any craft store of their choosing and a $100 gift card to my Etsy store because I not only have patterns now, I also have merch. I've got shirts, I've got bags, I've got notion pouches, I've got tons of stuff over there to choose from. So subscribe, hit the like notification bell because I give away other stuff. I'm going to start giving away this stuff. So be sure to start following and subscribing so you can get notifications for those. But let's get started on the pattern. Okay, so to begin our mitt, we're gonna do two rows of knit stitches. This is worked flat and then you're sewing it at the end. So it makes it super customizable, super easy to do. Um, we're sewing it not here, we're sewing it along the edge that we're gonna be creating as we're knitting. So this is going to be like the top or bottom of your mitt because you're gonna have um, another two on the other end. So those are going to be kind of like your cuffs. Um, the multiple, it tells you to chain, or I'm sorry, not chain, um, cast on 22. It's actually a multiple of four plus two. So that way the stitches are kind of all, they, they end the same way that they start. So you'll see what I mean for that. So if you need it to be wider, so obviously this is not the full, the full width, but if you need it to be wider to accommodate your wrist or anything like that, just add multiples of four and then make sure you have two at the very end. So once you finish your two rows of knit, we're then going to begin the stitch pattern, which is kind of like a basket weave or it is basket weave. We're going to knit two and then the stitch pattern repeat is purl two knit two and that creates a little basket weave you'll see as we go. But having that knit two at the beginning, allows me to have knit two at the end. So when I say that it starts and ends the same, I started with the knit two because I added two to my multiple and then I end with the knit two. So it just kind of makes it all even. So then when I turn, because this is a basket weave, I wanna match what I just did. So I have pearls at the beginning. So now I'm going to purl two. So I want to match what I just had on the row before. So I purl two and then Repeat is knit two, purl two. And I have an entirely long, too long of a cast on tail, but you do want to keep it pretty long because you're going to use both your cast on and cast off tails as your sewing um, thread. So you're going to, you're going to sew from both ends and then leave the thumb hole empty so that way you can customize exactly where you want it to sit. Then after we do two rows of matching we're going to do two rows of the opposite. So we have knit stitches here so now we're going to do two purls so we get the basket weave effect and then we're going to do knit two purl two. So if you're good at reading your stitches, you don't really need to mark your rows. Um, just follow the pattern. If you're not very good, mark it and pay attention to what row you're on. It, you can kind of read the stitches. Um, it's not too difficult if you're looking and you're trying to figure out, you put your work down, you pick it back up and you're like, oh goodness, what am I supposed to do next? Look at what you have below and look at what's on your needles. So you can see like here's two rows of purl bumps. Right now I just have one row of purl bumps. I have two rows of knit stitches below. You can turn it over, kind of do the same thing. You can see one row of purl bumps, two rows of knit stitches. So that tells me I still need to do another row of what's here. So I need to match this. So I have knit stitches here and purl bumps here. So I know I need to knit two at the beginning. 
So I'm matching what's in the row below, and then it'll be Pearl 2 Knit 2. So we continue this pattern throughout. So it's basically a four pattern repeat. And then at the very end of the project, we will do the two rows of knit again and bind off. And then you're going to take your mitt. There's a finished one. And you can see all the little basket weaves. You're going to take it, put it together with the wrong side out. So let me flip it out real quick. Put the wrong side out. And you can mattress stitch or whip stitch, whatever you prefer. But you're going to do one side to where you want your thumb to end. And then the other side's going to come up to where you want your thumb to begin. So kind of, you know, put it, put it around you, you know, like stick it on there, kind of go, okay, where's, where do I want this thumb to come out? How far up do I want my fingers covered? Because you could, you know, you could even come all the way up here if you wanted to and bring your thumb down a little bit more. So kind of just figure out exactly, like maybe just use some, um, the locking stitch markers or whatever you have to kind of make that hole where you want it to end and then just stitch right up to those stitch markers and you'll be set and you can kind of gauge off of that to do your second mitt so that they match and then you're all set so let's go do some final thoughts so those are the mitts pretty simple right you just work flat tie them up and you're good to go they are super comfy and i love the how you can really make them exactly the size that you want so i hope that you like them don't forget to subscribe so you can win lots of gift money and i am deja with knit and crochet ever after and thank you for watching